Well, SpaceX launches our scrub, at least for now, after a rare failure with its most prolific launch vehicle, the Falcon 9 rocket, which has now been grounded by the FAA. And KCAL News reporter Gio Insignaris is here with more on the investigation into what happened, Gio. Well, Pat, good evening to you. And this is something where patience is going to take front and center. <laughs> and with that approach, last night's incident, well, it ended an impressive stretch of 344 successful Falcon 9 flights in a row going back to 2015. Now SpaceX's entire fleet is grounded while an FAA investigation kicks off. And that could spell some trouble for other launches that were already on the schedule. Three, two, one, ignition. Mission grounded. For the first time in nearly 10 years, a SpaceX rocket has failed. Now all SpaceX flights are on hold until further notice from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. This is a significant concern because any type of engine failure that leads to a loss of vehicle or a loss of crew in this case, that requires an, an extensive investigation. Thursday night's launch at Vandenberg Space Force Base carried 20 Starlink satellites. According to SpaceX, the Falcon 9's upper stage engine did not finish its second burn as planned because of a liquid oxygen leak, leading to the Starlink satellites being deployed into a lower than intended orbit. The company said today the satellites will soon re-enter and burn up in Earth's atmosphere. Moving forward, experts point out that the FAA has to approve whatever corrective actions are taken by SpaceX before giving them the green light to launch again. The fact is that when you deal with high-powered machinery, turbo pumps and, and liquid oxidizers and fuels and explosive energy in order to get to the highest places in outer space, that is a risky business. In a statement, the FAA said in part, quote, a return to flight is based on the FAA determining that any system, process, or procedure related to the mishap does not affect public safety. But with no timetable as to when exactly this investigation will wrap up, that puts a stress on upcoming flights already on the schedule. There's two piloted flights coming up, a dramatic, fully commercial mission at the end of the month that will feature the first spacewalk by a civilian astronaut. And then, of course, the next flight of a crew to the International Space Station is coming up in August. Both of those missions fly on Falcon 9s, highlighting the fact that many countries and space companies rely on SpaceX to send their satellites and astronauts into space. That includes NASA crews being sent to the International Space Station. Back on Earth, the site of multiple launches isn't uncommon. In 2023, SpaceX launched the Falcon 9 nearly 100 times, with a goal to shoot for more than 100 this year, leading to sites like these across the Southland serving as a reminder of the heights that can be reached, though not for right now. I am hopeful because there will be hundreds of mines put together on this particular uh, launch and ensuring that the next launches will be safe. It's unclear right now when the Falcon 9 will be cleared to fly again. That could take several weeks or, as you heard, months before the FAA grants SpaceX approval. Pat, I'll send it back to you. All right, can't wait to hear when that's going to happen. Thanks so much, Gio.